I dreamed the other night that I was at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. USC was playing. And um, I really had to go to the bathroom. But the line to the women's room went on and on and on, you know. And Well, in my dream, I thought, you know, if I were a guy, I could just walk right in. No problem. I wouldn't have to wait for a stall. And um, suddenly, as I was thinking it, there I was, standing in front of the urinal. Have you ever been in a men's restroom? Well, of course I have. My father took me in when I was a little girl. And when we were out of toilet paper in the girls' room, I was always the one who went in and got it from the guys. So, uh, you became a man in your dream? No. I don't think so. I mean, when I looked down, I was still wearing my high heels and my skirt, but the zipper was in the front. What do you think it means? They need more toilets at the Rose Bowl. Actually, I, I remember thinking when I woke up, I wouldn't mind being a man for part of my life. For some things, you know. I mean, what if at 40, we automatically change sexes? If you were born a girl at 40, you became a man. If you were born a boy at 40, you became a woman. I'll bet that men and women would treat each other a lot differently then. Which would you want to be first? That's easy. A woman first. And how would your life be different? You'd be sitting here instead of me. Living in time And feeling every moment Do I walk into tomorrow and never look behind In a perfect world Everyone's dreams would all come true How will it all unfold? I wish I knew As I try to learn the answer Will the future hold? I wonder what will the future hold? How will it all unfold? I wish I knew. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew. your boy, Reggie Brown. Oh, thank you. What's he up for? Assault with a deadly weapon. Pleading self-defense? That's right. Is this file, Kermit? Except for this bus last week. Sweet kid. Priors back to junior high. County camp, CYA. Next stop, Chino. He's making good progress. 
You ought to graduate to a Watts misdemeanor by next year. A Watts misdemeanor? Murder warrant. May I keep this, please? I'll make you a copy. Thank you. I don't know how you do your job, Miss O'Neill. People like you inspire me, Detective Yanniger. Hey, feel like Mexican today? I can't. I got too much work to do. Besides, guacamole goes right to my thighs. <laughs> Who'd you draw? Binghamton. Can you believe it? Good change of venue. The videotape made the six o'clock news. How am I supposed to get a fair trial now? Well, suppress the tape. It's been edited. Prejudicial evidence shows your client in an unfavorable light. It shows my client applying a baseball bat to a couple of skulls. <laughs> so cop a plea. For what? Because of the Street Terror Act, he's already looking at three years for gang activity. You could challenge the statute on constitutional grounds. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, it's going to be tough finding a jury. Tell me, you think it was the Abscam tapes? <laughs> The crash officer said there'd been over 100 gang members killed this year. Yeah. Nobody gives a damn unless it happens in the wrong place. Blow away a dozen kids in the ghetto is no biggie. You shoot a UCLA college kid, everybody gets up in arms for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What do you do for a living, Reggie? I'm a driver at a wrecking company. What were you doing in Venice? Working. On a Sunday? I was picking up salvage. I made my last stop, so I bought myself a soda. I was sitting out on the boardwalk, watching people go by, hanging out. And a couple guys come by that did not like me. And then they attacked you? No, there was a lot of talking first. You know, signing, dissing on me, you know? Dissing? What's that? Dissing, dissing, um, like paying me no respect. I see. So then they said things to you and they tried to provoke a fight? Yeah, no, just sitting there, kicking it. Look, I've been out of my game for a year now. I guess nobody told him. And this one chump says he has a gun. Said he was gonna shoot me. I said enough, man, turned away to leave and then somebody hits me with a bat. So I just took it away from him. Mr. Brown, you sent three people to the hospital. Now, the others involved testified that you started the fight. They're going to swear to it in court. Hey, Mama didn't raise no fool. I ain't stupid enough to take on that many guys unless I have to. Look, I have a witness statement here. I'd like you to look at it, and you tell me how it differs from your recollection of the fight. Look, what's this? Says you started the fight. That's not true. Well, if you just look at it, then we can. I can't read, okay? Not too good anyway. It says that after they were down, you continued to kick them until the police arrived. One of the victims was 15. Well, I guess I got carried away. One of the homeboys popped a cap on me last year. All right? The kid that shot me was 14. Easy, easy there. I almost died. I mean, that's when I thought it was time for me to stall it out. I don't caper no more. What's caper? Caper, caper. You know, gang stuff. But the police searched everyone. They didn't find a gun. <laughs> yeah, and I bet you the police didn't check the car, did they? What lag, bro? Angel, bro. Who you be? My own man. I have my own set. Not in here, bro. Not in here. I'm sorry. Look, lady, this is my last stop. I just want to go home, OK? Come on, just sign for it. Look, I told you once, and I'm telling you again, I'm not signing anything. Yes. Can you give me the file on A757770? Rosie. Take a look at this. Who's it for? George. 2450 COD. 
is it from? The Pleasure Palace. Mother, my arm's getting tired. Well, let me take a look at that. Oh, I don't think so. But that's the only one I liked. Well, that's not you. Well, hey, whose house is this for, anyway? Well, I thought you wanted to redecorate. That's why I got all these samples, so we could look at them. What's wrong with my bedroom the way it is? Oh, nothing, sweetheart. But you were in such a hurry when you moved in. And I, I don't know, you got some time now, and... We can do better. But you pour me some tea, please. Now, what are you wearing to the luncheon? I don't know. How about that blue dress? You know the one that I like so much? It's at the cleaners. Well, so is your purple suit. Mother, please, let's not make a big deal out of it. You've been asking me for six months to say yes. I said yes. I'll wear a nice dress. Everyone's so excited about having you as a member. Me too. Why don't we go shopping for something? We haven't done that in years. When? Tomorrow? Hmm. I'll be in court. All day? Mm-hmm. Still like your job? Yes, Mother. Working on anything kind of interesting? You don't want to hear it. I give up. What? You always tell me that I never ask you about your work. And now I'm asking you, you don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. OK, let's see. Um, I have a janitor who exposed himself in the ladies' dressing room. I have a woman who set her boyfriend on fire with lighter fluid. I'm defending a gang member who's accused of beating three adolescent boys senseless with a baseball bat. I saw that on television. You did? <sighs> You're not telling me that that's your client. Yes, Mother. How about this for your chairs? No, that's not bad. Is this everything from the DA's office? Uh, for now, two more witness statements are coming. What'd you find out about the gang member's car? Oh, you were right. When they didn't come back to feed the meter, it was towed. It's been impounded in Culver City. I'm going to check it for a weapon later today. How are you going to do that? Don't ask. Any luck with the TV station? As a matter of fact, I know a guy there who owes me a favor. I think I can get a look at some of the outtakes. Here, are these came for you. I signed for them. You owe me four bucks. I didn't order these. It's got your name on it. Look, I'm not a member of the Erotic Book of the Month Club, OK? Well, how am I supposed to know that? You guys have stuff coming here all day from witnesses and attorneys. How am I supposed to know? Ask me. You're not around much. All right, I'll tell you what. From now on, don't sign anything with my name on it, OK? Oh, sure. And then I should lose my job, because you're a compulsive shopper. You need help. Hey, Carol, I am not a compulsive shopper. Uh-huh. Four bucks. Look, these are not my books. George. Hey, there's a UPS guy outside with a package for you, George. A big box. You order a vibrating bed? No. It's got your name on it. How'd it go this morning? My client urinated on the floor when he heard his sentence. You have any more of that? You feeling sick? I'm about to. In the, the, gang members. the entire fight was captured on videotape by a visiting tourist. We warn viewers that it is very graphic in content. Little scumballs. I beg your pardon? That's what they are. You should line them up against the wall and shoot them. Peremptory is with the defense. Yes, the uh, defense would like to thank juror number three and ask that the court excuse him. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Swift. You may return to the jury room. 
Miss Allen, have you ever known any gang members? Yes, ma'am. I got me an uncle was in a gang. And where is he now? Dead. I don't think society owes a living to anyone, but what other choices do we give him? Do you own a television? Oh, yes. Do you ever watch the evening news? No, I work swing shifts, 3 to 11. Pass for cause, Your Honor. What's that mean? You may be working here a while. Oh, thank you. What are these? The Wong sisters. Val's no good, that's the problem. Why nobody takes pride in their work anymore? How could this pass inspection? Maybe she bribed the guy. I can return it full credit. I mean, George should get what he paid for. How can anybody be interested in a girl who smells like a shower curtain? She doesn't talk. She's always interested in sex, and she comes with the money back guarantee. It's a man's dream. I'll be out of the office for a couple of hours. Lunch with Mom. Thank you. Well, did everybody enjoy that fashion oh, show? Yes. What about that? <laughs> and now, before lunch is served, I just have a couple of announcements. Um, first of all, the charity ball is sold out. Oh. Now, how about that? <laughs> you know, we have raised more money this year for the preservation of historic buildings in Los Angeles than ever before, and I, I really want to offer my personal thanks to all of you. Well done. And now to our incoming president, Buffy Thomas. I wish you all the best. Um, Hope you have as much fun as I did. Thank you. Let's give her a hand, shall we? And now... Last of all, I would like all of our new members who are going to be inducted this week to stand up. Come on. Come on, come on, Griffith. I want to welcome you all to the club, especially one girl, someone I've known for a long time. As a matter of fact, I was there when she was born. <laughs> My daughter, Fiona Rose O'Neill. I'm just so proud to have all of you with us. And that's it. Enjoy your lunch and see you at the ball, all of you. Uh, oh, thank goodness that's over. I'm starved. Uh. Thank you. Uh, your mother tells me you're working downtown now? Yes, I'm a public defender. That must be very interesting. Yes. My brother is a lawyer. Really? Yeah. Do you hear that Eileen's in the hospital again? Oh, what's she having done this time? Her neck. Dr. Richards is doing it. Oh, he's the best. <laughs> You have a good nose. Well, thank you. It's mine. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about having my breasts. Mm, would, um, just pass me a letter, please. We're having an ethical discussion. This came for George. There's no return address, and now it's leaking. Watch out. Does anybody smell coconut? Hey, now, should we open it? Yeah. Or should we respect his privacy and let what may be valuable contents be destroyed? Oh, open it. Open it. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Motion, lotion. Oh! Nickel plated. Police Ow. issue. Oh. <laughs> what is it? 
What is it? It's a device <laughs> for releasing tension. Uh, <laughs> I'll just wrap this up. <laughs> George, 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 I'm George. Rosie? What's going on here? Oh, nothing. Hey, George. Any luck? Yeah, I, I got a chance to look at the whole paper. And? Well, there's nothing we can use. Before the fight, there was just some stuff for this kid at the beach. Sorry. Thanks for trying. Mm. Reggie Brown made bail this morning. Why didn't anybody tell me? Who put up the money? His employer. But I got his name and address for you, just in case you want to talk to him about it, being a possible character witness. You're the best. Do you smell coconuts? Uh, excuse me. Ma'am? I'm looking for Sam Marshall. What are you found? Uh, won't you go ahead? I'll see you inside. I'm Rosie O'Neill. I'm with the Public Defender's Office. Oh, you're Reggie's lawyer. Right. Pleased to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Sam, we need help in Area 4. Jim can't start the forklift. Just come on with me. All right. Back to back. We can talk. Thank you. This way. Thank you. Oh, watch the step. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy it all. Toilets, lumber, you name it. Stuff that nobody else wants. You get rid of more stuff than I know what to do with. Here you go, sir. Why don't you guys go over there and help with the bricks? So what else you want to know? Reggie said he quit the gang over a year ago. He got jumped out. What's jumped out? It's only two ways out. You get dead, or you let the other gang members beat you up. He was in the hospital for six days. Would you testify to that as a character witness? Sure. Who's going to believe in OG? OG? Original gangster. I was a homeboy, took care of my hood, did my share of capers, got busted, gone to jail. Now I'm trying to keep boys out of jail. Must be a full-time job. I even say it, yeah. Most of my boys can't, they can't read. I started hanging out in the fourth grade, and started coming to school, started getting in all kind of trouble. How many boys work here? Six, seven at a time. Most of them live here, too. Only place I got to call home. No place to belong to. Got no family, no future. Nobody to teach him how to be man. It's a losing battle, Miss O'Neill. We don't need more prisons. We need more parents. Every man that climbs out of the ghetto needs to reach back and take someone with him. Talk to Mr. Nelson? Yes, sir. Uh, his teardown starts next week. It's gonna be about 10,000 board feet, 32 toilets. Pretty good doors. Well, good work, son. Lady wants to talk to you. Reggie, would you mind taking about a half hour? I'd like you to visit the scene with me. funny. When I'm picking up junk, people don't even see me. It's like I don't exist. They're just gone about the business. But when I walk into a store, the help is right on me. It's like I got shot with the written all over my forehead or something. Hey, Jack, nigga over here gonna steal the radio. How come nobody saw them hit you first? Lady, this is their hood. People here ain't gonna say nothing. I mean, they'd be right after them. We got another one? You're too young to smoke. It's all right. I don't inhale. Come on. Let's play. Look, go 
on and get out of here. I'm not leaving you. Well, you better start walking that boat. Who are they? Nobody you want to know. This is the dude who messed up my homeboy. What you want, man? Oh, man. How about a little batting practice, huh? <laughs> get out of the way. Please. Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> My bitch got an attitude. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, man? I'm an officer of the court. You're interfering with official business. I'm asking the police to let us pass. I'm scared. I'm shaking. 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 I'm You are currently an active gang member. That's right. And the name of the gang that you belong to is the West Side Killers? That's right. Do you see any other members of your gang in this courtroom? Yeah. Stump! Oh, hey, 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 and I'm not gonna say that again. All right, continue. Could you point him out to us, please? Yeah. That's him there. May the record reflect, Your Honor, that the witness has indicated the defendant, Reggie Brown. Yes. Uh, no further questions. Mr. Williams, how did you get to court today? In a car. In fact, did you not come here in a blue sedan driven by a detective from the Metro Division? Yeah. By the way, Mr. Williams, have the police compensated you for appearing as a witness? Objection. Overruled. Were you paid to testify? How much? Isn't it true that you have a case pending before this court for armed robbery? Yes. And you've been promised that the charges for that case would be reduced for favorable testimony? Is that correct? Objection. Overruled. The witness will answer the question. What's the question? Were you promised that the charges in that case would be reduced if you testified favorably in this matter? Yes or no, Mr. Williams? Yes. Mr. Williams, if somebody wants to leave a gang, you have a way of letting them go called jumping out, where you beat them up. Is that right? Yeah. Is that their only way out? Yeah. Unless they get killed. I have here a copy of a medical report from the night of September 15th, over a year ago. You were treated in the Culver City Hospital emergency room for a deep cut in your right hand. Yes. Do you remember how you got it? No. Well, you told the doctor that you'd been in a fight, but your hand was the only part that had been hurt. Correct? Yeah, maybe. You didn't have another mark on your body. Hey, I'll be down for mine. Here, here, here. Mr. Williams, what does that mean? You know, I could take care of myself. Thank you. Well, continue. The doctor removed part of a tooth that had been embedded in your knuckle, correct? I don't remember. Well, it was Reggie Brown's tooth. And you were one of the gang members who jumped him out that night, were you not? I don't remember. He doesn't remember. Thank you. Detective, take a look at this map, please. 
Does it appear to indicate the areas of extreme poverty in greater Los Angeles? Yeah, the Barrio, Watts, areas near Venice, they're all poor neighborhoods. Thank you, Detective. Now, if you would look at this overlay, does it appear to be the gang activity map prepared by your office? Yes, it does. Wouldn't you say it's a pretty close match? Objection, Your Honor. Irrelevant. Move to strike. Get to the point, Counselor. The point is, Your Honor, that it is almost impossible to grow up in a neighborhood like Mr. Brown's without becoming a member of a gang. Isn't that correct, Detective? Yes. I have here what appear to be a copy of Reggie Brown's gang file from the crash office. Do you agree? Yeah, I gave it to you, Counselor. Fine. If you would turn it over, please, Detective. It would appear that there has been no gang activity for over a year from the time he was jumped out until that day in Venice. Is that correct? Yes. No further questions. Okay, and here we have a pretty little dress. Person shoes to match. No, Any large so transvestite in the office. The giveaway. We found the guy that was yeah. signing George up for all that junk. Yeah? Yeah, revenge, I guess. George busted him a couple years ago. They arrested him this morning. One dozen scarves, pure silk. He's got a couple of Ava Gabor wigs you might be interested in. And a book on the art of not tying by the Marquis de Sade. <laughs> Any good scalpings or an adult merit badge? Well, how's it going? Oh, great. I showed the jury the picture of the gun George found in the gang member's car, and the DA showed them the eyewitness 6 o'clock news. Not bad, huh? Yes, Mother, I'm ready. I'm leaving in plenty of... George? <laughs> Hi. What? Another tape? When? Great! Uh, listen, can you, can you get it over to the TV station? Um, what? What hotel? Uh, okay, uh, no, 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 I'll go, I'll go. I'll, I'll, um, yeah, no, no, it's on my way. Will you call him and tell him I'm coming? Great. Oh, thanks. All right, bye. Excuse me. May I help you? Yes, my name is Rosie O'Neill, and Mr. Frank Freiler was doing up to package you for me. I don't see anything. It must be here. Could you call his room for me, please? I'm sorry, he's checked out uh, about an hour ago. He couldn't have. My associate was supposed to have called him and told him I was on my way. Gosh, he could be at LAX by now. Do you know uh, the name of the airline? Please. Look, it's important. Here's the airline number. Thank you very much. Flight 415 is now arriving at gate 3. Tootie? Yeah, is Mother there? Oh, damn it. But no, no, everything's all right. Listen, do me a favor. Call the club, will you? Tell her I'm running a little late. I know. I know, Tootie. Look, something came up. All right? Thanks a lot. OK, bye. Sorry. Oh, uh, uh, that's my flight, Miss O'Neill. I really appreciate it, Mr. Prater. Thank you so much. I'll make sure that your bag gets on the next plane. Uh, it must be important for you to come down here all dolled up like that. <laughs> yes. You look real good. Oh, thank you, Mr. Prater. I was disappointed when the TV station didn't want to buy it. I, I got there too late. The other guy beat me to it. But who are you going to show this to anyway? All the right people, Mr. Prater. All the right people. Bye-bye now. Bye. Thanks again. Ah. Miss O'Neill, they'll transfer that bag up here just as soon as possible. 
Oh, thanks. How long will that take? It'll probably be delayed for no more than 15 minutes. You're more than welcome to wait here as a guest at the Sky Club. Are you a member? Uh, no, I'm not. Would you like to fill out an application? Uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I only join one club a night. <laughs> it's a rule. possibly say to me. How about I start with I'm sorry? Will you invite me in? Look, I will call everyone. Explain what happened. I will write a personal Don't. note of a... Don't! I told them you were sick, a sudden flu. You what? Well, I thought you changed your mind, and it's all right. You're going to be inducted next month at the Founders' Tea. Mother, look, I think we need to talk. Do you have any idea how important this is to me? Do you? How could you possibly have let this happen? I got hung up at the airport. The airport? What were you doing at the airport? Does it really matter? Yes, it matters. Why the hell didn't you show up? There wasn't anybody else. I didn't have time. It was the only chance I had. I, I thought I, I'd be I, back I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the truth is, Mother, I look, I'm not very keen on clubs. Oh, I could have understood Doreen. I mean, she's like you, Fiona. Well, I certainly, I certainly don't want to push you into anything. You're not pushing me. I just don't want to be in your club. I see. Well, I just thought it'd be good for you. Socially, that's... The only reason I suggested it. Mother, please. I don't want to belong to anything right now. Don't you understand? So what were you doing at the airport? I had to meet someone. And that's why you didn't show up? I had to get some evidence for a case. It was a videotape that's very... What were you doing at the airport? I was trying to save a man's life. At least we know where we stand. I'll tell you where I stand, Mother. In court, every day, up to my neck in crap, watching people drown. I try to save the ones that I can, and that's what I was doing tonight. And I'll tell you something else. It was more important to me. That's the truth. I haven't even seen it yet. I only got my hands on it last night. You can't admit this until I've had a chance to review it. Linda, it'll be great. The six o'clock news will do it on a split screen. They'll do your half on one side, my half on the other. I can't wait to see it on TV. Neither can I. My chambers. Now, uh, this court is in recess for uh, 15 minutes while I consult with counsel. It's showtime. There you go. Thank you. Tastes all right? It's great. It's great. Told you. So you think they'll leave you alone now? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, why can't people just let you be? It ain't right making people doing what they don't want to. Amen. Miss O'Neill? Hmm? How long did it take you to be a lawyer? Four years of college and three years of law school. That's a lot of money to go to law school. Depends on where you go. I 
nice clean job. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, hey, wait a minute. What's up? You won. He's gonna be all right. If they live long enough, they grow out of it. Why doesn't he just run away? He's got no money, no place to go. Besides, it's hard to leave your neighborhood. Well, it's better than getting killed. The hood's all he's got. He's been there all his life. It feels like he belongs there, you know? There's gonna be gangs everywhere, but I don't think running away is the answer. Well, what is? Give them something else to do. Try our best to keep families together. How do you do that? <laughs> Don't ask me. I couldn't. Me either. I know one thing. When those kids don't find what they need at home, they go looking for it on the street. I'll see you tomorrow, Rosie. She's not going to answer. That's it. I'm not trying anymore. This is healthy behavior for a two-year-old. Forget it. She didn't ask you to join the club. Oh, yes, she did. I told her no. I didn't let her think for one minute that I was interested. I hate those things. So do I. Why didn't you tell her? I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Too late. Want some? Remember in the third grade when you started that club in our playhouse, the pink ladies? Yeah, I wanted Mother to buy us jackets, and she wouldn't. They were pink leather, and they cost $80 each. Not wholesale. It was a very exclusive club, as I recall. Only two members, no sisters. Just you and Christy Logan. And Christy quit after the first meeting. You were humiliated. She wanted to be president. I'd already elected myself. You're too much. <laughs> you really hurt Mom, Rosie. She's always had trouble getting close to you, and she thought the club would be a way to do that. This meant something to her. You didn't take it seriously. Keep ringing the bell till you open up, Mother. That's very annoying. Mother, can we talk? It's late. Please. All right, talk. I'm listening. May I come in? No. Just say what you have to say. I'm sorry that I wasn't honest with you right up front. I should have told you how I felt. And how does that feel? I just don't seem to have a clue anymore. I don't feel very attached to anything right now, Mother. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's the work. But there's nothing close enough for me to grab hold of and hang on to. And I don't get any comfort out of fashion shows and restoring old buildings. Not that you shouldn't. But it's not me. And I'm sorry if I led you to believe that it was. I accept your apology. Maybe there's something else we could do together. Why? You obviously don't want to. Oh, Mother, the only reason you need me is because Doreen's busy with the baby. I was always your second choice. I haven't needed you or Doreen for a long time. I wanted you with me. It's a big difference.
Anything else? No. Yes, Mother. Yes, I am. No, Mother, I'm fine. What? Come over. Well, sure, if you want to. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Mm -hmm. 